Women won big in the U.S. midterm elections on Tuesday, with U.S. media predicting more than 100 women winning elections or re-election in races across the country. Among the big winners of the night was Minnesota State Representative Ilhan Omar, who became the first Somali-American to be elected to Congress. Are you ready? Yeah. Voters in Minnesota and Michigan elected the first two Muslim women to serve in the U.S. Congress. A former refugee who fled Somalia's civil war and a Detroit-born Palestinian-American. The victories by the two Democrats, Ilan Omar and Rashida Tlaib, came on an election night when members of multiple minority groups had a chance to score electoral firsts. We are done waiting. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Let's get to work. Omar, a 36-year-old Somali refugee who immigrated to the United States as a teenager, bet Republican Jennifer Zielinski to take Ellison's seat, which he vacated to run for Minnesota Attorney General. Omar says one of her priorities is to continue to stand against President Donald Trump's immigration policies. The choices we're making right now do not sit well with the values that I think most Americans share. 29-year-old Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez became the youngest woman to be elected in Congress. The newcomer had edged out longtime Congressman Joe Crowley in a Democratic primary earlier this year. Democrats Sharice Davids, a lesbian mixed martial arts fighter, and Deb Haaland became the first Native American women elected to Congress. Democrats rode a wave of dissatisfaction with President Donald Trump to win control of the U.S. House of Representatives, giving them the opportunity to block Trump's agenda and open his administration to intense scrutiny. Republicans retained control of the Senate.